Chapter 76, Pain is like adding dry firewood to a fire. At one time, the Buddha lived in the Garden of Solitude in the Gion Grove of the Acropolis. One day, the Buddha said to his monks, disciples, when you cling to and worry about the things of the world and indulge in the feelings of happiness, joy, and satisfaction brought about by obtaining, owning, and enjoying these things, you will let craving grow, and taking will be produced with craving as a prerequisite, have will be produced with taking as a prerequisite, and birth will be produced with have as a prerequisite, so that having birth will produce sorrow, sadness, distress, worry, despair, aging, and death. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world gather and appear, and people or beings in the world will continue to suffer and sink in the cycle of life and death according to the method of dependent origin. Disciples, just like lighting a fire, bringing 10 wagons of firewood, 20 wagons of firewood, 30 wagons of firewood, 40 wagons of firewood, as fuel, there is a man who keeps pouring hay, dried cow dung, dry firewood into the fire, these carts of firewood, disciples, when this man continues to add firewood to the fire, this fire can burn for a long time. In the same way, disciples, when they cling to and worry about the things of the world, and indulge in the feelings of happiness, satisfaction, and joy brought by these things, just as they continue to add firewood to the fire, then craving will continue to grow, taking will be produced under the precondition of taking, taking will be produced under the precondition of taking, and being will be produced with have as a precondition, and birth will be produced with have as a precondition, so that having birth will produce sorrow, sadness, distress, worry, despair, aging, death. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world gather and appear, and people or beings in the world will continue to suffer and sink in the cycle of life and death according to the method of dependent origin. Disciples, when they do not cling to and worry about everything in the world, and do not indulge in the feelings of happiness, joy, and satisfaction brought by these things, and understand that all the things in the world bring to themselves are ultimately painful feelings, then craving will gradually fade, disappear, and disappear. When love is destroyed, taking is destroyed. When the take is destroyed, the have is destroyed. When the have is destroyed, the birth is destroyed. When life is gone, sorrow, sorrow, bitterness, worry, despair, old age, and death are gone. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world are eliminated and destroyed. People or beings in the world can be freed from the troubles and sufferings of the cycle of life and death by following the retrograde movement of the method of dependent origin. The disciples, it was like lighting a fire, bringing 10, 20, 30, 40 wagons of firewood, and there was a man standing next to the fire, and he did not add hay, cow dung, or firewood to the fire. In this way, when the fuel in the fire is burned out and consumed, then the fire itself will be extinguished. In the same way, disciples, when they no longer worry about and cling to all the things in the world, no longer indulge in the feelings of happiness, joy, and satisfaction brought by these things, and understand that all the things in the world bring to themselves are ultimately painful feelings, then just as the fire without firewood fuel will extinguish itself, craving will gradually fade, extinguish, and disappear. When love is destroyed, take is destroyed. When the take is destroyed, the have is destroyed. When the have is destroyed, the birth is destroyed. When life is gone, sorrow, sorrow, bitterness, worry, despair, old age, and death are gone. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world are eliminated and destroyed. People or beings in the world can be freed from the troubles and sufferings of the cycle of life and death by following the retrograde movement of the method of dependent origin. Disciples, why does everything in the world ultimately bring suffering? Because all things in the world are changing at any time, cannot be eternal, cannot exist forever, when you do not get these things, you will produce painful feelings, after obtaining these things, you will produce happy, joyful, and satisfied feelings, but these feelings of happiness, joy, and satisfaction cannot exist forever, cannot remain unchanged forever, when these things decay, perish, and disappear, there will be painful feelings, and how much happiness, joy, and satisfaction have been produced by obtaining, owning, and enjoying these things before, when these things decay, perish, and disappear, how much sorrow, trouble, and pain arise. The feeling of completely losing these things is also very painful, so for example, everything in the world ends up bringing painful feelings. Disciples, you should practice retrograde according to the method of dependent origin, so that you can be forever free from the troubles and sufferings of the cycle of life and death. After the Buddha's teachings, the monks who listened to the teachings all paid homage to the Buddha again,
praising the immeasurable merits of the Buddha's teachings, and they all practiced according to the Buddha's teachings.